Okay, so let's start this out by focusing on building the plank pattern. Okay, and so before we begin, um, I always like to do a quick review of all the different topics that we're going to cover. Okay, so let's go and do that now. So what we're going to do in this section is we are going to learn how to use the for loop. And specifically, we're going to focus on how to use the for loop each primitive, for each primitive. Okay, and this will help us build this up. It's really important to, to understand how to use these blocks of nodes um, and it'll help you create more advanced uh, network setups later on. Uh, we're going to learn how to procedurally group edges, which is a very powerful thing to do. This also extends all the way to grouping you know, points and primitives uh, procedurally, but we're going to start with grouping edges and you'll see why um, once we dive into our particular network. So we're also going to learn a very important thing about for loops, and that's the metadata node. All right, this contains some information that helps us randomize values. It's a really quick way to do it, um, and so I highly recommend you know watching those particular lectures to understand how it works. Uh, and then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to add details to our pattern. So once we get the general pattern in place, we're going to go and we're going to detail this out so it starts to look like wood planks with nails in it. Okay, so let's get started making our wood planks.